This tutorial will cover how to build a simple cafe table monitoring prototype system which can tell the baristas at a cafe if the table is unoccupied, occupied or needs cleaning. For example, after a cafe patron has left the table, a table will likely need cleaning. Baristas will be notified of the change of status via both a buzzer and LED lights. Detection will be done through computer vision, specifically object detection. For this tutorial, we will use Cytron's NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano training kit, which includes the core components required for this tutorial. NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano 8GB dev kit with Jetpack 5.1.2, Raspberry Pi 8 megapixel camera module 2, CSI cable, and additionally, three different colored LEDs and a passive buzzer. For the red LED, connect the positive leg to pin 7 GPIO and the negative leg to the pin 6 GND on the Jetson Orin Nano. For your yellow LED, connect the positive leg to pin 29 GPIO and the negative leg to pin 30 GND on your Jetson Orin Nano. For your green LED, connect the positive leg to pin 33 GPIO and the negative leg to pin 34 GND on your Jetson Orin Nano. For your passive buzzer, connect the positive leg to pin 15 GPIO and the negative leg to pin 14 GND. If you want to check that your LEDs and buzzer is working correctly before proceeding, you may check out our other Cytron tutorials for reference. Use LED with NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano GPIO and use buzzer with NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano GPIO software. For this tutorial, we'll tap onto the vast resources included with the Jetson Inference GitHub repository. Learn more about the Jetson Inference GitHub repository with Cytron's Getting Started Guide Computer Vision AI Training Kit with NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano. Turn on your NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano and download a copy of the detectnet.py file from the Jetson Inference GitHub repository to your home directory as cafesystem.py. Open the cafesystem.py file. At line 26, we're going to add two more lines of code to import both the Jetson.gpio and time libraries. Import Jetson.gpio as GPIO, import time. These two libraries allow us to interact with the Jetson Orin Nano expansion pins and allow us to set delays in our program. At line 32, we add 28 lines of code to set up the GPIO LEDs and the buzzer. GPIO.set mode, GPIO board, buzzer pin equals 15, GPIO.setup, buzzer pin GPIO.out, initial equals GPIO.low, def beep for i in range 10, GPIO.output, buzzer pin GPIO high, time sleep 0 0.0005, GPIO output, buzzer pin GPIO low, time dot sleep 0 0.0005, red LED pin equals 7, yellow LED pin equals 29, green LED pin equals 3. GPIO setup, red LED pin, GPIO out, initial equals GPIO low. GPIO setup, yellow LED pin, GPIO out, initial equals GPIO low. GPIO setup, green LED pin, GPIO out, initial GPIO low. Line 32 to line 38, this code set it so we declare the pin declaration to go by the physical pin numbers. Then we write logic that buzzer is connected to pin 15. It is to be treated as an output pin and initialization set to not output. Line 40 to 45, we define a function called beep. A passive buzzer requires a rapidly paused signal. We can accomplish this by switching between sending high and low signals with a very, very small delay in between. And line 51 to 57, we write logic that our red LED is connected to pin 7, yellow LED is connected to pin 29, and green LED is connected to pin 33. Also, all LEDs is to be treated as an output and on initialization set to not an output. At line 103, we can then insert 10 lines of code to declare new variables and logic. Cup detected equals false. Person detected equals false. Power detections in detections. If detection.class ID equals 47, cup detected equals true. If detection.class ID equals 1, person detected equals true. We declare new flags, which later will be used to decide how our LEDs and buzzers will turn on. Then based on the detection results, if a class with an ID of 47 was detected, we set the cup detected flag to true. Also, if a class with an ID of 1 was detected, we set the person detected flag to true. Note, the technet.py by default uses the SSD mobile net v2 model. We can reference the model class labels at GitHub to note that class ID 47 equals cups and class ID 1 equals person. At line 114, we can add 17 lines of code that activates our LED and buzzer accordingly. If person detected, result equals table occupied. GPIO output red LED pin, GPIO low. GPIO output yellow LED pin, GPIO low. GPIO output green LED pin, GPIO high. Else if cup detected, result equals table unoccupied. Baristas the clear table of used cups. GPIO dot output red LED pin, GPIO high. GPIO output yellow LED pin, GPIO low. GPIO output, green LED pin, GPIO low, beep, else, result equals table empty, no action needed. GPIO.output, red LED pin, GPIO low, 
GPIO output, yellow LED pin, GPIO high, GPIO output, green LED pin, GPIO low. If our system has detected a person, we can make the rule that this means that a table is occupied. So I light up the green LED in terms of both the red and yellow LED. Buzzer is not activated. If our system has detected a cup only, we can make the rule that this means that a table requires cleaning. So it lights up the red LED in terms of both the yellow and green LED. Buzzer is activated for audible alert. For other conditions, we can make the rule that this means that the table is unoccupied. So it lights up the yellow LED in terms of both the red and green LED. Buzzer is not activated. At line 132 to 136, we delete these lines of existing code and replace it with new code to print the terminal result. Print result. So we can see the results we want clear in the terminal. We replace the original code which prints to terminal the full results of the object detection. At line 141 and 142, we can delete these two lines of code. Again, this is see our results clearer. At line 145, we can add a new line of code to set a small delay to slow down the detection. Time dot sleep 0.5. By slowing down the detection slightly, we improve the effectiveness of our LEDs and buzzer as it'll be more visually and audibly noticeable. Save the code changes. Let's move on to running this program and first check that the Jetson.gpio is installed. sudo pip install Jetson GPIO. It should say requirement already satisfied Jetson GPIO in then build the Jetson inference project from source. These are the commands sudo app get update sudo app get install git cmake lit python3 dev python3 numpy git clone recursive dev equals 1 https github.com slash dusty nv slash jetson inference cd jetson inference mkdir build cd build cmake dot dot slash make dash j dollar sign and proc sudo make install and sudo ld config. Please reference the compiling the project on the Jetson Inference GitHub for a more detailed explanation on how to build the project, including breakdown of the individual command. Building the project is necessary to get the required libraries installed for our program to function. Note, we are unable to run our program inside the Docker container used in the Getting Started Guide Jet Computer Vision AI Training Kit with Jetson or Nano due to its lack of access to the Jetson GPIO. Finally, we can run our program in the terminal, python 3 cafe systempy you can now notice that when a person is detected, in the terminal, it will print table occupied and the green LED lights up. When a cup is detected and no person is detected, in the terminal, it will print table requires cleaning, red LED lights up and the buzzer activate. Lastly, if neither a cup or person is detected, the yellow LED lights up. 